Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker, and tonight we're going to talk about what is a Sigma male. We've heard about alpha men and beta males, and now I guess there's Sigma males. Um, I had to read up on this. I mean, I've heard, uh, I actually got quite a few emails from guys over the past month or two that said, hey, let's talk about Sigma males. And I went, well, okay, that's something I'll look into. And then I never get around to it. And then I did. And then I've read about it. And uh, I'm going to call it complete BS. Um, those of you that asked me and those of you that said, hey, maybe, or maybe you're thinking to yourself, if you know the term, maybe I'm a Sigma, sigma male. Um, maybe you are. Uh, but the thing of it is, when we talk about, like here on the channel, um, you, when we talk about somebody that's an alpha male or a beta male, it's a word that quickly describes a bigger picture of a guy. So instead of saying tall, dark, handsome, athletic, you know, cream of the crop, good education or, or good income, all the women want him, fan, we just say alpha or Chad, you know, and, and you guys get the picture. Same thing we say beta. You might say, ah, oh, married guy's kind of a loser. He feels lucky to have her, hasn't had a lot of success in dating. He's weak. He's a simp. He's whatever. We call it beta. Those are just words to quickly take a big kind of paragraph, paragraph descriptor and squeeze it into a quick little word so you guys understand the concept as we're talking about it. Well, the reason why I'm not into the Sigma male thing is because it's it's kind of, well, you're alpha without being alpha. And who cares? Who cares? The, the If somebody comes up to me and said, dude, you're such a beta male, my response is, okay, whatever. If a guy calls you a loser, okay, whatever. Somebody says you're fat, ugly, bald, short, your beard's lopsided, okay, whatever. If you really want to know the best way to be a, quote, amazing male or a sigma or alpha or whatever, it's stopping caring what other people think of you and, and just live your life that makes you happy. So I've got a couple articles that I'm going to read from that kind of describe it, and, and then I'm going to put some more two cents on it. And then uh, I got a couple of dating profiles from the day. First, some losses. I always like to to surf down through uh, Tinder, and I find various stats and or Tinder. I always get those two mixed up. Tinder is full of uh, women that want to date you that are angry. Twitter is full of just angry people that don't want to date you. They're just angry people yelling at each other all day. Uh, but from Twitter, U.S. Co and this is from the source of U.S. Department of Education, U.S. College Degrees by Gender Class of 2021. So this is the most up-to-date information they have. Associates degrees, men are graduating at 38.9% of the classes, women 61.1%. Bachelors, men 42.3%, women 57.7%. Master's degree, 39.3%, women 60.7%. Doctors, uh degrees 45.9 percent for men and female 54.1 percent so the total is men are graduating at 41.1 percent right around 40 percent and women are 58.9 or about 60 percent of college graduates so women are graduating now at a 20 percent gap over the percentage of men yet my patriarchy See, all you have to do is look and you can find statistics on um, how many scholarships are available, the many, many more for women, much fewer for men, and now we're starting to see the results. The biggest difference, though, is that when I worked for a college, or excuse me, when I worked for as an engineer and I was a uh, team lead, I did a lot of interviews, and we kind of did interview panels where we'd have three to six, sometimes seven people from our team interview, and they'd all ask different questions because each person had their own technical expertise on the team. And many times we'd say, hey, you know what? It would be great to have a few more women on the team or a few more minorities on the team. So we get a diversity of people to tackle the problem because everybody has a different background. Little did I know uh, where we'd be here in 2021, because this is going back probably close to 10 years now. Um, but women are not being shunned from STEM. Women are not being shunned from college. Uh, however, they do make choices and they choose not to go into mathematics, engineering and STEM. That's why they can graduate at higher rates with worthless degrees and not make as much money. 
Um, right now, I'd say stay the heck away from college unless you really, really need to go because it's kind of an indoctrination camp. Uh, all right, ne next uh, loss. Uh, this is from a gal posted. Uh, somebody posted this on Twitter, um, but it's from a TikTok video, and they took a screenshot of it. And it's, it's a girl, and uh, she's wearing a very low-cut top and showing her bobs. And it, and it says, when I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me instead of breaking up, he had me and the other girl give speeches on why he should stay with either of us. And when he chose me, I took him out to dinner and got him thank you presents. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Women would rather share a winner than be with a loser. This guy not only made them compete for him, but she, quote, won and she thanked him and bought him presents for choosing her. Uh, I mean, good for him, I guess. Maybe he's got game at whatever it is. But again, if this is where dating is, I, I'm, I'm not so sure many of us want to participate. And uh, last loss of the day. Uh, this is from a, another woman on uh, t uh, Twitter. She says, just remembering that one time I graduated from college and I found baby juice in my hair halfway through the ceremony. So apparently she fooled around before the ceremony he uh, decided to uh, finish on, on the face or the hair or whatever, and uh, she went to her graduation ceremony that way. Oh, boy, won't she make a wonderful wife or girlfriend for some lucky guy someday? High quality class. All right, so here's the here's the story. This is from The Mindful. I didn't know which way I wanted to read these, but I'm going to read them both. Um, again, I'm not crapping on you guys that say, oh, maybe I fit or maybe we should strive to be a, a Sigma male. Okay, that's fine. Like, I, I think if you say I want to be an alpha male or, a, you know, a leader of men and strong and athletic and, and charismatic and wealthy, go for it. I think that's great. Um, but you shouldn't you shouldn't ever put out there that, that you are an alpha male. Same thing. The word should never leave your mouth. I am a sigma male. Like, I don't think you should ever call yourself anything. I'm, I am joker. That is all as far as it goes. How you think about yourself is fine. But the the moment that you worry about how the world sees you is the moment you're failing the whole idea of the thing, which is I don't give an F what anyone thinks of me. And when you really get to that point in the world, that's when you're going to be a, a, a happy, fulfilled, like full guy, like that you're good. Girl calls you a name or breaks up with you or says you're an awful person. Okay, whatever. Uh, you know, you save up enough money so you have a little F you money or F me money is even better. Uh, and your job says, you know what? We no longer require your services. And you go, OK, whatever. Being the OK, whatever guy, that would be a better way is, is when I get older, when I, everything I want to get everything in my life so good that I'm the OK, whatever guy. And that would really be the right mindset. OK, so Sigma male, 12 personality traits to identify him. Um they say in the social sexual hierarchy, men are often uh, majorly classified as being alpha or beta. The alpha males are those who dominate in society because they are the best of everything. They have the charm, if not the looks, money, and leadership ability. Let me just quickly interject here. When you put exclamation marks in anything that you're writing, as far as trying to explain yourself or trying to get your point across, um, as soon as you start throwing in exclamation marks, you lose 50 credibility points right off the top because no one's going to be like, they're the best of everything. It just is very unprofessional. Uh, just a personal gripe. In short, they are the most appealing to the ladies. Beta males, on the other hand, are submissive, reserved, and quite commonplace. While there's also a different kind called the Sigma male who does not fit in this regular classification. Who is a Sigma male? A Sigma male is a man who is a lone wolf. He isn't worried about alpha males, nor is he interested to become one, exclamation mark. <laughs> they don't crave attention like the alphas, although they get a lot without even trying. He has leadership abilities just like an alpha, but he doesn't place orders to others because he likes doing things on his own. Alpha men do not necessarily order other people to go around, and a lot of alpha men like being alone. They don't need the input of others. See what I'm saying? Like, it, it just to me, it feels like a stretch. Like you're just trying to cl somehow classify yourself as alpha, but also better than alpha because you don't care at the same time. I, I just, eh. 
says the Sigma male has an inborn charisma that only he decides not to flaunt it. Women are naturally drawn to the Sigma because of their capacity and self-sufficient abilities. He is not awkward in social situations, only uh, that he is not interested in societal norms and expectations. Sigma is a unique personality type, and he knows that, exclamation mark. Sigma male is born to rebel. The Sigma male almost always follows their gut, exclamation mark. Sorry, I, I'll stop doing that. I just, it, it is such a, it is such a youthful, silly way to write. They will not follow instructions from others and love doing things in their own way. Because of that, they often break rules. It's not that they do it on purpose, but their way of thinking and doing things is completely different from others. As a result, they're often friendless. Not that they worry about that. On the contrary, they prefer being alone. Um... What, do we really need a new classification of men? Um, are, are, if you are naturally charismatic and people are naturally drawn to you and you have a good self sense of purpose and you have your own drive, but you're rather you'd rather be alone, you're kind of an you're kind of an alpha dude that's just a little bit reserved or just like your time alone. Again, I just don't think we need to start piling in all these different descriptors because many of this might might reflect on me, I might say, well, I don't know. I like being alone and I, I'm pretty casual to cut, talk to people out. And I've been a leader in various business. Who cares? You know what I mean? Like, really, who cares? Sigma male gets a lot of attention without even trying. Sigma males are never attention seekers. Rather, they try to stay away from the limelight, but their personality and attitude naturally attract others, particularly the women. Again, if you're just if you're just good on your own and you're just doing your own thing, um, people are naturally drawn to that. Alpha guys don't go out there and seek attention. Some do. I mean, some do. Narcissists do. Some alpha guys do. Um, they do put themselves out there a little bit more. But again, it really all this sounds like is you're talking about an alpha male that really doesn't feel like giving an F and doesn't. And just, just doesn't care what others think about him. That in and of itself is kind of alpha, if you ask me. A sigma, sigma will always do things in a different way. One of the traits of Sigma is be able to always give that unique touch on the things they do, and they never do what others are doing. It's because of their inborn rebellious streak. For instance, when most people like to post on social media to show off their stuff, the Sigma male might steer away from the virtual world to enjoy the actual one. Sigma males know what they want. These men are absolutely sure about what they want out of life. In fact, they are confident about what to get from each of their relationships. They're confident, determined, and self-centered. Uh, they like to live in the moment. Life is, un, uh, un, un, uh, life is unpredictable and quite short. Sigma is aware of this bitter philosophy of life. That's why they like to each enjoy. Uh, they like to enjoy each and every moment. They do not like to discuss the past or repent on previous chapters of life. And they give you a, a little countdown here. Uh, and I'll read down through it for fun. A Sigma male is a man who is a lone wolf. They don't crave attention like alphas. Although they get a lot without even trying, women are naturally drawn to the Sigma because of their capacity and self-sufficient abilities. They say, number one, they're born to rebel. Number two, they get a lot of attention without even trying. Three, they have a unique way of doing things. Four, they know what they want. Five, they like to live in the moment. Six, they're hard to get. Seven, they love to have their own space. Eight, they have a style of their own. Nine, they have no expectations from others. Ten, they don't have close friends. To me, it just sounds like a, a confident introvert or a, a confident person that just likes to be left alone. I think that is also an alpha male. Uh, no, no one says that alpha males are braggadocious and loud and, and going out and saying, hey, pay attention to me like, like some crazy kind of narcissist. Alpha guys usually are more reserved. Alpha guys uh, usually do hang back a little bit. I always tend to think of, like if you were to say, uh, what do I think of as, a, as an alpha male? I always tend to picture like old school James Bond. You know, like the, not the, Roger Moore a little bit, but more Sean Connery, who's really the only James Bond in my opinion. Like old school, pre-45-year-old, uh, pre-45-year-old uh, Sean Connery, that's James Bond. Chill, cool, laid back, suave. Um, but he, he never really put himself out there. Um, or, or you could say uh, Blondie from the, uh, which would be Clint Eastwood in his old spaghetti westerns uh, that he used to have back in the day. Just quiet, just 
introverted, just kind of doing his own thing, but it's time to take action. It's action. To me, this invention of the Sigma male and trying to get this going and maybe saying, oh, maybe I'm a Sigma male. To me, it's almost like people trying to describe themselves as a hipster. Like, oh, I'm an alpha hipster. I'm different. I'm a rebel. I'm unique. I do my own thing. But at the same time, I'm also an alpha, like uh, like rebel with a cause. Um, what was the name of the guy that... Uh, Anyway, I forget his name. The actor in in, in uh, Rebel Without a Cause, uh, uh, James Dean, that died. Like, this has been around forever. I just don't think it is anything new and interesting. Um, they, they, they have descriptors here, but they say, um, I'll, I'll just kind of jump through the rest. They're hard to get. Uh, Sigma males have the capability to become the alpha. What does that say? All Sigma males have the ability to rule and dominate men and women! Exclamation mark. They also or these men, also these men have charisma and leadership quality, just like the alpha males. They too have an impressive personality and can effortlessly attract the ladies. A sigma can easily become an alpha, but he chooses not to be one. If you have an alpha mindset, if you are an alpha guy, you just are. They, you don't, well, I'm an alpha guy, but I choose not to use my powers. I don't use them for greater good or evil. I keep them to myself. Shut up. Like, really, you, you sound like you sound like a hipster to me. You sound like you're trying to brag about yourself. Like, somehow, I'm as good as an alpha, but because I'm chill about it, I'm somehow even cooler than alphas. It's like, move on. Just, just do your own damn thing. The less you care about all this stuff, as far as, like, how does everybody see me, and what am I, and who... Just be you. Just be yourself. Just be happy in your own skin. And if you don't like who you are, if you're unhappy with who you are, change it. Sitting there and trying to find new descriptions, that, and I'm not talking to like you guys directly. I'm just speaking to the universe when I say you. Who cares? And if you're not happy in your own skin and you say, man, I wish I had more muscle. I wish I was more athletic. I wish I was... Uh, had more money, go chase after it. Go get it. Go change your life. Y you only have one of these, at least on this on this current planet or in this current realm, however you want to look at it. Valhalla, here I come. Um, you get one shot at life. So stop worrying about, all, just, just make yourself happy. And if you're not happy, go chase it and go do it and go get it done. Uh, they say they're not introvert, but love to have their own space. Of course they're not. Uh, Sigma males have a style of their own. That sounds like a hipster. Sigma is fashionable, but he doesn't follow the fashion trends. Although he likes experimenting with clothes, the Sigma male dons the outfit he is comfortable in. He has a style of his own. Sorry, this is, sounds like hipster shit to hipster stuff to me. They have no expectations from others. They don't have close friends. I, I personally, I think that's a mistake. I think you should try to have a couple of close guy friends in your life. Um, there's, you know, I don't, I don't have any currently because I'm working and I'm busy all the time, but Hey, some of the best times in my life were when I had really good close friends, Sigma male, uh, another one, Sigma male doesn't look for long lasting relationships. Well, I don't think any man should look for a long lasting relationship, uh, or at least ones that's going to tie you in. Uh, and then they give some differences on how they differ, um, Nomadic lifestyle, the preferred lifestyle of the Sigma is they have a nomadic lifestyle. Um, benefits of the nomadic lifestyle. Uh, oh, they have a quiz. Let's take the quiz. Why not? Let me see if I can zoom this page up a little bit. You're in the mall a week ago with a bunch of friends. Are you the leader? The leader's best friends, regular pal, guy who was invited out of pity, one who hates malls. I'm not taking this thing. I, I'll leave a link down below for this. This is stupid. Maybe I'll take it later and just for fun, I'll put the answer in here, but I don't have time for that crap. All right, the pseudoscience behind the Sigma male explained. Are you tired of reducing masculinity into the two nonsensical made-up categories known as alpha and beta males? Well, a virtual or a viral Twitter post on Monday drew the internet's attention to the term sigma male, another exciting and innovative way in which society can limit masculine expression. The Twitter post highlights media which reduces the broad spectrum of masculinity into a rigid, rigid hierarchy composed of alpha, beta, and sigma males so that men can understand and accept our place in society without ever considering ourselves as, you know, 
human beings with unlimited potential. See, I kind of, this is why I grabbed this Forbes article, because I'm kind of the same way of like, just be yourself. What is an alpha male? Uh, they go through and read that. We know what that is. Uh, let's see if they say what is a beta or anything like that. What is, okay, what's, here's the sig, what is a sigma male? A sigma male is essentially an introverted alpha male. Off, that's what I said it was, but the other article said they weren't inter, introverted. Offering misguided men a chance to place themselves at the very top of this imaginary hierarchy without the loud, boisterous personality that an alpha boasts. Examples of a sig sigma male apparently include John Wick, which is why I used him in my thumbnail of this video, because who doesn't want to compare themselves to a cool, composed assassin? Although when it comes to choosing a role model that exemplifies a non-existent category of manhood, uh, one could do a lot worse than Keanu Reeves. Other made-up categories include beta, gamma, and omega males, all of whom are placed towards the bottom of the hierarchy, meaning that they are unlikely to find financial stability or attract a partner. If you haven't noticed, this uh, reductive line of thinking is exactly how pickup artists view the world. It's about as insightful as a BuzzFeed quiz that category, categorizes humans into different flavors of Starbucks syrup. Will the Sigma male prove to be as influential and misleading as the Alpha? Perhaps Twitter is pretty good at popularizing poorly thought out ideas. I, I wanted to read this because that's kind of how I look at this. Look, I don't consider myself an alpha male or a beta male or a sigma male. I am a male. A male. That's how I see myself. A male. A M A L E. That's a male. Um, and and I don't care how others see me. That's just. I think when that's where you are in life, um, I don't know if you want to call that alpha or sigma or great or. I just look at it like the minute you don't give an f about what anybody else thinks of you. And if you're talking to some girl and she ghosts you and you go, oh, well, and that's really where, again, the oh, well, or no worries, or not a problem, or moving on, or once you get to that point in your life when it comes to everything, that's where I think you're starting to really attain happiness and, and being okay in your own skin. And if you're not there, if you're not able to, if you say, man, if I lost my job, I'd be crushed. Okay, the, the, I understand that, and but but how do you get past that? How do you move on through that? Are you does the does the place you work value you more than you value them? Do you feel lucky to have the job, or sh should they feel lucky to have you? If you are dating, do you feel lucky to have her, or is she lucky to have you? Um, if you have, if you have, do you have enough money in the bank so that if something bad happened, that you're okay and things are going well for you? It's, it's all about getting to a place where the outside world cannot really have an effect on you. I think when, when, you've, when you have that, then you're a complete man. Then you're in your good place. Then you're in your place where you're going to be the happiest. And then if somebody calls you an a-hole or calls you names or tries to put you down or whatever it is, and you genuinely, not that you're acting, that you genuinely don't care what they think about you, that's how I think that's how I would say you're going in the right direction and you're in the right place. If, you, if it's kind of a fake it till you make it thing, that's not bad. Um, but you need to get to that place in life because then I, I did a, a video on this a long time ago where I call it your bulletproof. Like just nothing can phase you. Nothing can knock you off your perch. Nothing can take you down. If uh, YouTube decides to yeet me off of, of YouTube, I've got my betterbachelor.locals.com. I'm over there. Would I lose money? Would I not get nearly as many views? Would I really take a hit? You betcha. But I got a backup plan. I'm trying to grow it over there. Please join me if you haven't. It's a great way to support me. Um, and someday I'm hoping that grows to be bigger than YouTube. So when they do yeet me off YouTube, I'm fine. Like I'm, it's not always have a backup plan. Always have something else going. Make sure you have enough money in the bank. It's one of the reasons why I built a bus. Because the bus, if I just park it somewhere insurance and since I have solar for my electricity and I need to fill up every once and again with water, um, I, I, like it costs me $1,500 a year to live in my bus. That's like 150 bucks a month. Now, if I drive it somewhere, thanks to President Houseplant, um, gas and diesel is now up even in Florida to three bucks a pop. Somewhere out West, I'm sure it's coming up on five or six dollars now. Um, but thanks to President House Plant closing down the XL pipeline. But anyway, the whole thing is, yes, if I drive around, it's going to cost me money. But I can also buy a, a plot of land 
and just drive up on it, park like I'm, I maybe have a well done a uh, dug, and I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty always have those plans, and maybe a plan doesn't work out, but you got something else, and maybe the job doesn't work out, but you got something else, and maybe this girl doesn't work out, but you got something else, and you got enough money in the bank to survive some of this stuff, and so if you if you knock out a tooth and your dent your dentist insurance doesn't go through, you've got enough money for it, or you wake up and you got a flat tire and you got to replace that for three hundred bucks. I know you guys may not be there yet, but that's the way you need to plan your life out. It's not about fancy cars or fancy dinners or a big loan or a big house where you have a, a bunch of loans out on it or whatever. I'll tell you now, I sleep like a baby every night because there is nothing that I worry about. There's nothing that I think about. There's nothing that I lose sleep about. Everything's good. That to me, if you get to that place in your life, that is a happy, uh, fully developed male. Not Sigma, not Alpha, not Beta, not Omega, not not Honeycomb, not Cheerios, like not Tuesday, whatever. Enough with the enough with the terms. Who cares? All right, moving on to the dating profile of the day. I didn't have a whole lot of time to plan these, so I just snagged these off the web. So, that I, but neither one of them had pictures of their face so i didn't even have to to photoshop it and blur it this gal is 31 it shows her uh kind of squatting down in front of the camera like she's a uh, 1990s boy band uh rock star uh she's 31 she says can you be the one to stop me turning gay after my crap luck with fellas when i read something like that when somebody says you know what i have awful luck with men all the men i date are awful Men treat me horribly. Men are pigs. Men are bad. Men are men are men are men are. That tells me that they're chasing guys that are probably good looking. They're jerks, and they just the women get used and then dumped, and then they want to blame it on the unavailable guys that they're never going to have anyway. They're going to blame it on them as if it's their fault. Meanwhile, not looking at 80 or 90 percent of the men out there that would probably treat a woman very well and be very happy to have a girlfriend and treat her great. But because they're not the hottest of the hot or have the most money or whatever, they're just completely looked over. She says, whilst all the other girls use filters to get freckles, I use filters to blend mine out. Not going to lie, totally here for a confidence boost. And there it is. Validation. She's having a hard day. She's 31. Maybe she's thinking, I'm not getting as much attention from men, but I'll go on a dating app and I'll see how many guys I match with. And even though I'll figure none of them are good enough for me, it'll make me feel better knowing that these worthless men at least think I'm wonderful and still a catch, and thus I'll feel better about myself. I told you they do this. They're literally admitting it on their dating apps now. Uh, she says, uh, here's my Instagram, and it says, I have two kids, three and one years old. So she had a kid at 28, 27, 28. She had one at 28, and she had one at 30. And now she's alone. And both baby daddies or the baby daddy, whatever, he's gone. And now she's single, 31, looking for probably a little bit of a bailout. Shocking. All right, second one. And this one's kind of funny. So it's a picture of her chesticles, her bobs. And it's in a kind of lacy bra. And that's about it. it says 36. She's a very verified blue check mark. Uh, she says uh, net, her hobbies she likes... Netflix, grab a drink, nightlife, pubs, wine. Grab a drink, alcohol, nightlife, party, pubs, party, wine, alcohol. Alcohol and nightlife. That is pretty much her hobbies at 36 years old. I bet she's a winner. Let's read on. I'm fun. Okay, that's party girl. I'm sexy. That's an easy girl. I'm curvy. That's a big girl. I'm honest. That's a girl that lies because she's telling you up front that she's honest. I that is that's a red flag. If somebody says, Tell me about yourself, well I'm honest. Why does that pop up into your head? Like isn't the default to be honest? So when you say you're honest, you're probably a liar. That's the way I look at that. So she says, fun, sexy, curvy, honest, loyal, which makes me think you're not loyal. Because again, uh, five foot six, working mom of two, looking for the one. No one-nighters, not interested. Yet her her hobbies 
are wine, grabbing drinks, nightlife, and pubs. Right. I love nights out, nights in, lots of cuddles, and holidays. I'd probably say you, uh, I, I, I'd probably say you do like those cuddles since you have two kids. Um, but here's the thing, you, you notice something. Vapid, empty, worthless. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing that she offers that is unique or interesting or entertaining or makes a guy look at her and go, you know what, that's someone I'd like to get to know. Except maybe the pictures. I can't see the pictures. Maybe the pictures. And if she doesn't look good in her pictures, she's no different than any every other woman that's out there that doesn't look good in her pictures. And if she does look good in her pictures, she will get guys that go, well, I'm not looking for long term anyway. I would hit it and quit it, so I will swipe on her. And of course, she's going to keep getting with the bad boys and never find the one. Although the good news is someday she will have the 10 house cats. Because I'm telling you, get stock in cat food, cat supplies, uh, maybe some pet stores. Because guys, there's going to be a... There's going to be a generation, like from this generation that, you know, my generation backwards, younger, as these girls get up into their 40s and 50s and single cat moms. The good news is there's not going to be any strays in the pounds. We'll never have to worry about kitties being put to sleep because they didn't get adopted. Cats for everybody. Cats for all the crazy cat ladies because my God, my God. Uh, guys, I thank you for those of you that have joined me over on betterbachelor.locals.com. Uh, uh, I'm growing over there, guys. If you haven't joined me, the forums are great. We've got fun posts. Um, interestingly, originally I wasn't really going to talk, like let politics invade it. But right now between the bug, between uh, President Houseplant, between the socialism, between the the peaceful riots. I'm sorry, excuse me, peace peaceful riots, peaceful protests where they're burning, burning down billions of dollars of, of uh, buildings and things like that. Um, people want to talk about that stuff and they don't get censored and they don't get shunned and they can post whatever they want over there. So it's becoming like a really interesting mix of people that are just kind of like concerned with what's going on in the world today, as well as what's going on with men. But it's also like, hey, I don't like the way society's going. Let's talk about it. So, you know what? I do not really steer the forums anywhere. I let them go where they may. And I don't really police much over there. And we're having some really good discussions. And there's some, some fun memes. And we do mostly talk about men's issues. But we also talk about rights going away and and things being taken away from us and big government and all this other stuff. So it's turning out to be kind of a, a cool little corner of the web. So join me over there if you'd like. It is free to join. Um, and not many of the posts over there are for subscribers or um, for supporters only. But if you do support, I have a monthly and a yearly option. If you do a month, you get a month free. If you could do uh, a year, you get two months free. And it's a great way to support me. So that way... I'll still always do stuff here on YouTube, but that way if they do yeet me off YouTube, instead of me not doing any videos anymore and having to go off and get some job where I'm off the internet, it keeps me around. It lets me do my hobby, my passion, and, and it lets me get messages out to you guys. So I will leave it there. This is Better Bachelor, I'm Joker, and remember, uh, don't worry about if you're an alpha, beta, sigma, kappa, uh, delta, whatever. Just be happy. And if you're not happy, find what you need to get there. And then once you're happy and you don't care what anybody else thinks of you and the world can go F off because you're in your good place, then, then you can call yourself whatever you want. But at least you're in a happy place while you're doing it. Mm -hmm.